Sebastian, you need some flowers. Hey Sebastian, I miss you so much. It's been such a long time. Things are just so lifeless around here now. Oh. And you know the really awful thing? This girl's out to get me now, he sent me threats. Oh, my situation's so grave. No pun intended. <laughs> Sebastian, give me a sign. Oh, what is this? Wish your riches are us. Fun for all the family, especially those long deceased. Ah. Oh, thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. See you later, Sebastian. from the 
the plane of eternal rest. I summon thee to the plane of the living. I command thee, deities, to release the souls that best mean swashbuckle. Come to this plane. upon a time there were two twins mm -hmm. one born 18 minutes before the other let's call that one Sebastian even though he was the eldest and entitled to the entire swashbuckle family fortune he thought it would be more fun to torture his younger brother he would lock his brother in a basement for days on end he'd steal his Christmas presents and when his horse went lame he would steal his brother's favourite horse, Choco. When they grew up, they both fell in love with the same beautiful woman. But the woman fell in love with the younger brother. To thwart him, your beloved Sebastian committed an evil crime and blamed it on his younger brother, his own flesh and blood, and got him banished from the town by his family. You think I'm evil, but I'm just trying to get even for my harrowed earlier life. Now, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Fancy a pop 
You may have won the battle, brother, but not the war. My spirit lives on. <laughs> Sebastian, you now live in the skull's body, is that right? Yes, I beat him in the Battle of the Marks. But leave me alone, I just brought back some bat notes. Oh, uh, okay then. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. <laughs> Continue.